seems like a good afternoon with the heat outside to make another one of our little videos. I appreciate your uh, kind comments about the first one that we did a couple days ago. This is the room where I uh, type warps and wefts to you and we visit through cyberspace every night. I uh, furnished it in Eastlake and Renaissance Revival furniture, uh, much like the Bordens would have had. Um, we'll do a video on the furnishings at the Borden house some sunny afternoon when it's too hot. Uh, I did indulge in a comfy sofa, and over the sofa you'll see there's a bit of a glare on it, but this is the um, steel engraving of under the uh, village elms, the village elms, um, which was hanging over Andrew Borden at the time of his murder. Uh, we talked about the contents of the little case here the other day. Uh, you'll recognize a few things that I've posted before. And this Eastlake cabinet that holds all my Lizzie books, and we're going to do a series, uh, talks about various books on the Borden case. Uh, I'll do those also from this room, but this wonderful Eastlake cabinet I found up in Providence. It had once belonged to the uh, the, the uh, CEO of American Greeting Cards, so I really treasure this, and it's walnut. Um, on the wall here, uh, it's a spoon collection and an East Lake spoon holder. And Lizzie, you know, um, when she lived at Maplecroft, traveled a bit and collected spoons, which is something all the young ladies did, very popular, uh, including one of the spoons. And we'll talk about that in another video. Uh, she brought back from the Columbian Exposition when she went to visit shortly after she and Emma moved into Maplecroft in 1893, and I had been collecting um, Columbian Exposition for a long time, sometimes called the Chicago World's Fair, but it was the 500th anniversary of Columbus. And this is one um, of the prints uh, I've had matted and framed over the years I've been collecting these, and they're really beautiful color lithographs. So this is a site Lizzie would have seen, the Libby, uh, Libby Glass Company and Factory. They were at the fair. Uh, and so today I think I'd like to start our book series, if you want to have a seat right there. Um, and we'll walk over and take a look at this book. I found in Mystic at a junk shop. I've seen a few other copies online. It's about the Central Congregational Church in Fall River. And I was very interested to note that it was written by, well, if I can find the title page, here we go. Well, Mrs. Uh, Charles Holmes. Uh, and this was the lady that hosted a, a party um, or a reception, I guess I should say. The uh, night of June 20th, when Lizzie was acquitted, she had a home which is still standing on Pine Street. Her husband, Charles Jarvis Holmes, was very well connected at the Central. And uh, Lizzie and Emma were great friends of the Holmes family and often went to stay at their summer home, which I think was called uh, Holmesland. Emma kept that connection much longer than Lizzie did. Um, Eli Thurston, Mrs. Eli Thurston, was another one of the uh, the writers of this history, which was written in, in uh, 1905. And at the front, they give you a great photograph of what the church looked like in 1905, minus the ivy here. Some of the postcards do show it with heavy ivy, uh, which, of course, is disastrous to brick, and it was removed. Here's Eli Thurston, who was the second pastor, I believe, and also on the board of Wheaton uh, Female Seminary, where Emma Borden, in 1865, after Abby and Andrew were married, um, he was on the board of the Wheaton Female Seminary. And it might be that's the reason why Emma ended up there. Uh, oh, here's another shot of the sanctuary. 
I have seen that about two years ago, and it's pretty much intact, and it's being restored. It's beautiful. And this is where uh, Lizzie had her pew that her father paid for every year. I believe it's on the left side toward the front. Someone did buy her pew. I think that person was in Swansea. Um, we also get a shot of Reverend Jubb, Lizzie's champion. And there is one in here of Reverend Buck. I've lost my bookmark. We'll have to come back to that, I think, another time. But it um, it's a book worth having. It has a lot of great pictures and information about the church, various important people in the church, and these were all names that you will see in Parallel Lives. Ah, there's Reverend Buck. And these two pictures of Jub and Buck you will see in Lizzie's room on 2nd Street. So, for about $40... The Central Congregational Church book uh, written by Mrs. Carr, Mrs. Holmes, and <clears throat> well, who's the other one now? Uh, oh, Mrs. Thurston. Okay, we'll come back on another afternoon and have a look at some Fall River post postcards. Until then, stay cool.